tell me all about Tobago, uh, the expansion, the new volcano all right. expansion. So we have this um, extension pack for our Tobago um, game by Bruce Allen. And um, let me just really quick switch the cameras because um, I have the game set up at my place. Now we have a bit of a, um, just a, just a small part of the um, playing field. Um, yeah. So the players who already know this game would notice that not a lot has changed, but what's new? We have a volcano. <laughs> we have the lava plates right here. And um, we also have the starting plates with lava pieces on there. So, um, I'll just cool. go over the rules really quick. What's um, the goal sure. of the game? So we are basically on a treasure island, Tobago, and we want to find treasures. Now, we have some indicators, uh, indicators of where the treasures might be hidden. Um, there are four tre treasures. We have a white one, we have a gray one, and then there, there's also brown and black. And <clears throat> with our indicator cards, um, I'll hold it up to the can uh, camera a little bit more. Um, I don't know if you can see that. That's an indicator card stating the treasure is in a body of water and the red lines indicate that it's in the largest body of water or lake. So on our game plan, we can see we have two largest bodies of water and the little white cubes indicate where the treasure might be hidden. See. A player can choose to play an indicator card or a clue card um, on one of the um, treasures and to reduce the possibilities where the treasures might be hidden. So I'll just start with our green player. He could now also move across the island with his Jeep. Um, you get three moves. One move is to cross terrains. That would be one move. The next one is you can move anywhere in this terrain and cross into a different terrain again. Or that's the first option, or you play a treasure card. Now, the green person, the green player would um, choose to play this card. I don't know if you can see that right the here. Palm tree with two X's. Which says the treasure is not next to a palm tree and also not in viewing distance. Oh. So the green player places it underneath the white treasure, claims this piece for himself. And now we take a look at the map. We have a palm tree here. Yep. But the treasure is not within one or two fields of this palm tree. Mm. So all of these get removed. And we yes. narrow down the choice of places where the white treasure might be hidden. Um, now, also, there's a possibility to get amulets, and um, but I'll explain that later. Usually, you are only allowed to play clue cards if they make sense. So the white treasure is hidden in a body of water. So the yellow player could usually not play a card that says the treasure is next to the body of water because, mm. well, it's already in the water. Right. Now, the new thing about um, Tobago Volcano is you are actually allowed to play this card, but then choose one of four volcano cards that you place over it. And you can see it says the treasure is now next to the volcano. Okay. Now, playing this card again has to make sense. We take a look at our plan at the island. And now it's only these two 
treasures next to the volcano that are still an option. So the rest is removed. Mm. And now we have the red player who is at the very top of my board. I don't think you can see it. Uh, let's there you see. Go. There. This player moves across one, two into the next territory, and three. Our green player would be next. Doesn't move again. One into the next territory. Picks up the blue amulet, which gives him great powers. <laughs> now, with Volcano, usually you take the amulet in order to um, do a double move. So either place two cards here, do six moves on the playing field, or um, protect yourselves against an evil spell that might be hidden in a treasure. But in this case, once you pick one of these amulets up, you take one of the um, lava cards and place it next to the volcano or any other lava card that is on the playing field already. Um, the green player chooses to place it here. Now the choice is narrowed down. Mm. And now, because um, this lava plate can actually burn up uh, clues, palm trees, or the little um, brown huts. And the green player, uh, the, sorry, the red player um, could now move across one, two, three, and lift this white treasure. Um, they would get a token here, um, put it underneath the treasure, and then you get um, gold in a certain manner that the uh, experienced Tobago players would already know. Um, of course, there's an, also the option of moving across lava, either by using an amulet or giving up one of your um, gold cards that you want to save for the end because the person with the most gold wins the game. Mm. Can you blow up another Jeep with lava? <laughs> you can actually not. So um, <laughs> okay. Jeeps and the statue figures that we have here, um, these are protected from the lava if they are already on that field. So they cannot be blown up. It's only the clue, um, the little cubes here, the huts or the palm trees. All right, well, uh, we're just about out of time. I just wanna make sure um, everybody can know more about where to get um, this new expansion for Tobago. And everybody's wondering if you will do a reprint of the base, uh, the base game Tobago, because this is, you know, several years old at this point, And I know it was once out, out of print and hard to get. Well, so I have a, an old version still at my place here. We had a new version um, with a little bit different figurines, a uh, little different palm trees, different huts. Um, this game is still available. Um, you can either get it through our shop um, or you can get it through um, probably a game store near you if they have it. <laughs> okay, it's, it might be a little bit more difficult to get uh, in the United States, but if we can get it through your shop, then uh, that, that's cool to know too. Um, we'll just have to wait for it to get imported to us. But uh, it's great to know that you're, you know, th this expansion came out of like, we're like, whoa, an expansion for Tobago. So that's like, that's really cool that, you know, there was thought put into that and, you know, you're still working on older titles and maybe bringing this bringing this like giving it a little bit of a fresh life if you will uh so people might you know start talking about it and playing it more and all that um, to get good eyes on an already great game so yes <laughs> um cool. i really really questions? appreciate your time no i really appreciate your time and um so glad you could join us to show us this expansion and kurtz von knapp and uh thanks for coming thor thanks for having me i really enjoyed it